Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast today. I really appreciate it. I hope my videos are a blessing to you. I'm going to talk to you about Exodus chapter 2. In my last session, we learned uh, that Pharaoh ordered all the male children under two years of age to be thrown into the Nile River. What a tragic thing that was. This must have been hard for the parents to watch this awful scene unfold, as I'm sure thousands of babies were cast into the Nile River. But out of this event is going to come a great leader by the name of Moses. Josabed became pregnant and bore a son, and when she saw that he was exceedingly beautiful, she hid him for three months in the rushes, according to the Amplified Bible. And when they could no longer hide him, she took him for an ark or a basket made of bulrushes or pap papyrus, and making it watertight by dabbing it with bitumen and pitch, and then she put the child in it and laid him among the rushes by the brink of the Nile River. That's found in Genesis chapter 2 and verse number 3. And his sister Miriam uh, is watching over him all this time to see that nothing uh, happens to him. You know, floods could have come and uh, uh, they could have lost uh, the baby, but God's protecting hand was up on Moses. There's a great leader that's now waiting in the wings to lead Israel out of the land uh, into a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses become one of the greatest leaders uh, that Israel has ever had. Now one of the daughters of Pharaoh discovered the child in the river. She opened the basket and the baby was crying and she had pity on this little child. Then Miriam said, shall I call one of the Hebrew children nurses to, child, to nurse the child? And then Pharaoh's daughters said, go. And the girl went and called the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said, I will pay you even wages to nurse her for me. What great providence of God, where she gave birth to a child and hid him and then was able to nurse it and even was paid to do that. So that's providential. God is a providential God. He will work things out for you if you trust in him. The child grew, and she she brought him to the Pharaoh's daughter, and they called him Moses, for she said, because I drew him out of the water. Isn't that amazing? One of the greatest leaders of all time drew out of the water on the brink of death and destruction. God knows what he's doing. One day Moses saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his brethren, and Moses killed the Egyptian. He thought no one saw him, but someone did, and Pharaoh, Pharaoh sought to slay Moses, so Moses fled to the land of Midian, and they sometimes call that the backside of the desert. Moses was content to dwell with Jethro, and he gave Moses uh, Zipporah his daughter, and she bare him a son called Gershom. Uh, Forty years elapsed, and the king of Egypt died, and the Israelites were groaning and sighing because of their bondage in Egypt. And God heard their cries, remembering his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And one of the great scriptures I like in here, and God saw, and God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. Every time you pray, God hears your prayers. Don't ever forget that God answers prayer. He's waiting upon you to cry with all of your heart. In your despair and difficulty, trust in God. Uh, he will bring you out. Uh, uh, also, in, other, in order to bring us out, we've got to be into something first for God to bring us out. And God help with all of us today that God will touch your life. And I hope you've enjoyed this session in Genesis chapter 2. And thank you for listening.